Okay, I've lived in a lot of places. I've been moving around ever since I was born, so I don't even remember half of them, but the place which I kind of consider my home is Denmark because I've lived there a lot for the longest time. As Bangladesh because it was the closest, and then we moved to Finland and Denmark and <clears throat> England and then Thailand. So we move a lot, and I think we'll be moving sometime soon again. <laughs> what do you call home? That's a place where most of my family is for me. Right now, I don't really have a home where I have relatives and stuff. So for me, my home is where my dad, mom, and brothers are. And and what passport do you carry? Indian, because my parents are Indian. Earlier, you said that you spent uh, the majority of your time in Denmark when you were little. Yeah. Uh, okay. So in some ways, Denmark seems like a home. Yeah. Kind of. Okay. Uh, one of the questions I've been asking uh, students is what it's like going from one international assignment to another international assignment. I've been moving a lot, so I'm kind of used to it. It's not that big of a change for me anymore, but when I started, it was it was a little hard. I mean, I wasn't sure what, how I'll fit in and stuff, especially when I moved from different cultures like Western to, in, to Eastern and then Asian and everything. I was kind of scared. When I first started moving, I first went to Bangladesh and I went to Denmark. And then I was scared, how will I fit in? But when I went to Denmark, it was just okay. And then I moved to Finland and England, I wasn't really concerned. When I came here, it was okay. okay. Um, is there any drawbacks of going international to international? I don't, I, I mean, yeah, I don't have permanent friends. I have friends all over, but I, I, there, I don't have friends who I'm just going to call up at like 1 a.m. and be like, I need your help, could you help me? So I don't have friends like that. I have a couple of friends who are really close. One of my friends is really close because she moved with me here because her, her parents were in the same organization. So I think she's the only one. Otherwise, my friends are like, you know, they're not long-term friends. It's like you know them, hi, hello type. Good. The other question I've been asking kids is, um, do you want to pick, um, hypothetically, India or Denmark as, as your passport country for this question? India, because my okay. most family is All right, there. then what would it have been like if your family moved from India to Bangladesh, back to India, and then Denmark, back to India, Finland, back to India, England, back to India, Thailand, back to India? What would that life, life cycle have been like for you? When we move, we try our best to go home first, to go to India first, and then change countries. The fact that I get the sense that I'm home kind of thing. Would there have been any benefit of spending more time in India than what you have spent now? Um, I don't. I've discussed this with my dad. He always says that moving around gives you exposures and stuff and builds your confidence. So I I don't really know about that anymore because I stopped thinking. I used to be really homesick when we started moving, but then I stopped thinking about it and I look, started looking at the bright sides of moving around. So I don't think about it anymore. Now. The only other question that I think of when I talk to kids your age is I always wonder where you might end up going to college. I'm really aiming for the UK. So that's where I want to go because that's what I kind of consider to be where all my friends are. All my friends, most of my friends are in Europe. Tonight I'll sing my songs again, I'll play the game and free.